Well, while everyone was watching the USA Germany game today, there was another important soccer issue going on at the Wilson Building. Yeah, a hearing was being held there about the proposal to build a new DC United Stadium near Nationals Park. Opponents to this project say that there are better things for the district to be spending its money on. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live with all sides of this debate. Sam? Well, the split is between those who want uh, DC United to move from RFK into its own stadium in Southwest with all the development that that may bring, and those who say that city tax dollars should not be used to make rich team owners even richer. And of course, all of this took place while the United States played Germany in the World Cup. While outside the building, protesters put up signs for schools before stadiums. Inside, attention was divided as witnesses testified about the stadium in the council chambers. Five floors below, a lot of people who'd abandoned the hearing were busy watching the U.S.-Germany game. The council chairman had refused to postpone the hearing, so the mayor's office and D.C. United provided a hangout for anyone, including D.C. United club kids and their soccer moms, to watch the hearing and the World Cup. Here I am watching both of them at the same time. <laughs> it is multitasking at its best. But with the hearing sound turned down, not many watched the screen on the left. It's very clear that the district loves soccer. Up in the hearing room, the vast majority of those testifying supported the bill, in which the city would put up about $150 million in a cost split with D.C. United to build the new stadium at Buzzard Point. Soccer is the world's most popular sport. We are a world capital. Or the father of a D.C. United player, Bill Hamid, Sully Hamid. Yeah, I've traveled to the whole of RFK. Please, please just give us a new stadium. That's all we're asking. But many balk at the controversial land swap that gives developers the city's huge Reeve Center building in Northwest for parcels at Buzzard Point. I just worry that nobody's looking after our interests and our assets. Look, all these council members depend on these developers for campaign contributions. So whose side of the table are they really sitting on? Are they sitting on the side of their benefactors or are they representing us? She is one of 110 witnesses who signed up to testify today. This is far from over. The council is having a cost-benefit analysis of this deal done due sometime in September, and there could be more hearings after that. Reporting live from the John Wilson Building, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.